Guys, there is a crowd starting to gather over here, and I think, where I hope, we're gonna see some tango. <laughs> and welcome back to another day here in Buenos Aires. Today we are going to be exploring some more neighborhoods and the one that we are in right now is called San Telmo. We were told we have to visit this uh, area on a Sunday. It happens to be Sunday right mm -hmm. now. Loads of people out. There's a big antiques market that goes for uh, various streets. It's huge and I think there's lots of street performers so we're really excited to check it out. So everything I read about this place was certainly no lie. You can see it's packed here on Sundays. It's definitely a great place to come if you're looking for a unique souvenir. There's lots of handmade stuff. It's not made in China. Very, very cool. What's really interesting about this market is uh, in the main square, which is called Plaza do Rego, there is an antiques market and there is some very oddly and unique things here. Like we saw some swords, uh, random like... Just little glass items, like old teacups, clothing, yeah. like pretty much everything. I think I read that you can find like old telephones and typewriters it's and cool. all that. If you're looking for some random antique stuff, it might be a good place to come. I also read somebody said, if you're coming here and you're a big antiques person, bring an extra suitcase with you. <laughs> Did you find it? I cannot find this hat. Guys, there's this one hat that I'm looking for. It's called a boater hat. Basically, every girl on Instagram has one. I've been looking throughout South America for one. It just doesn't seem to exist anywhere. <laughs> what do you guys think? Anna? Where's Anna? What do you think it is? <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. So happy we caught that. We weren't sure if it was we were going to find it today in this square, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, it's so busy here with all the uh, vendors and everything. So I had read that this is the place to come. When, if you're in the city, this is the place where you come to see uh, the tango. But we didn't see any at first, so we <laughs> locked out and yeah. found a performance. And uh, can they ever dance? Yeah, wow. amazing. So it's the next day. We are now at our hotel, the Intercontinental Buenos Aires. We thought before we headed out on today's adventures, we'd show you around first. So this is our room. When you walk in, right to one side is the bathroom. Yeah, and it's a very nice bathroom. Check this out. First of all, look at this walk-in shower. It's awesome to have the shower, and then you have this really big tub over here. This way, you have a very nice vanity. And of course, you have your bidet and your toilet. Over here, you have the closet space. And then on the other side of the room, great big king size bed. Uh, you got two end tables. And by the way, the bed is ridiculously comfortable. I did not want to get up this morning. Over this way, you have your TV. We don't normally use TVs, but uh, there is one if you're wondering. You also have a mini bar, and it has a few things in it. And just in case you want to have a drink, and there's also a whole bunch of snacks down here. So over here you have a great big desk area. Um, there's also a lot of plugs in the back. You can't see it from there, but very convenient. Uh, something you may not have noticed, there's hardly floors in here, which is something you don't see very often in hotels. And then a really nice carpet. So it's got like a sophisticated but cozy feel at the same time. So we're on the 14th floor and by far the best part is the view. Just look how big this city is. The camera's not doing it justice. As far as the eye can see, I see very tall buildings. It's a massive city. Let's talk about some of the amenities here. There are so many things to list. We're probably gonna miss them, but uh, um, there is a gym and it's a very big gym. I have to say right next to the gym is a beautiful indoor pool that can has come in handy here because we have been swimming in it. Um, and then we didn't, uh, we didn't even find out until today that there is a solarium. 
And basically that means like, a, I guess it's like a sun deck is what yeah. you would call it. And it's gorgeous because you're very high up and you're overlooking um, kind of like a bunch of older buildings. Yeah, like well. an old church or something. It's yeah, really beautiful. It's actually. really nice. So yeah. we've, we've spent some time there as well. Yes. And speaking of that old church, there's also, um, so there's a few restaurants here and one of them is sort of situated in a courtyard. Yes. So you've got all this beautiful outdoor seating and there's this gorgeous old ancient, like ancient looking church behind her. It's not yeah. ancient, but it looks ancient. Uh, and then inside you have the bar and then I think there's mm. Uh, one other restaurant inside. Yeah, it's a very nice hotel. Um, maybe the best part is it's very centrally located. Yes, yeah, so it's actually, I think, technically in San Telmo, which mm -hmm. is where we were in, well, today's video earlier yesterday. Yes. But it's also really close to the main square. Yeah. I think it's like a 10 minute walk at the most. So why don't we head out and check it out? Let's do it. We'll see you guys there. down to the immense main square. It's called the Plaza de Mayo. Yeah, you Mayo. might be saying that wrong. <laughs> uh, it translates to the May, May Plaza? May square? I think it's May, like the month May. of May. Yeah. Uh, one thing we noticed right away, on the map it looks really big. And it's it's not when you're here. It doesn't feel as big as at least it look, as it looked on Google Maps. Yeah. And the one thing I noticed again is uh, most squares we've been in in the past, and that's a, there's a lot of them. But more uh, recently, it was like Santiago, Santiago and yeah. Lima, and, and but a lot in Europe as well. Mm -hmm. There's usually like a, a centerpiece, like a uh, like a giant cathedral. I'll say that mm -hmm. there's a centerpiece here, and it seems to be a statue or a monument. It's very nice. But uh, this is the first square I think we've been in that where there's not like this really old but, gorgeous cathedral. Yeah, there's a few like smaller churches churchy like yeah look, churchy looking things but not like a big cathedral so i got a few facts for you guys but i'm gonna have to rely on my phone because there's a lot of information so right in the center is the pyramid de mayo which was the um first national monument here in buenos aires also the um actual plaza was formed in 1884 after the, the demolition of a building i'm not sure what the building was if it's a big building i'm not sure uh, so they unified two plazas. One was the Plaza Mayor, and the other was the Plaza de Armas, and combined it into one big, giant plaza, even though it's not that giant. So guys, the most beautiful building um, in this square, at least in our opinion, is this one behind me. It's pink and brown, and there are all these like porticos and statues, and of course there's this clock as well in there. Now, we're not sure what it is, so we don't have our cell data on today. And uh, all the facts we looked up so far about the square, we had those before we came out. And now we're very curious because this is gated off. We're thinking it's a government building. I'm sure one of you guys will let us know if we're wrong. So I actually just asked one of the police officers there um, what it is, and they basically said it's a government house. Now, we don't speak Spanish, but we're pretty sure he said that. I think that's what he said. <laughs> I don't think his English is very good and we obviously don't speak Spanish, but I think that's what he said. Yeah, yeah. and so well, since we're in the main square, it's probably a good time to fill you in on some uh, facts of Buenos Aires. So if you're wondering what that name means or what it translates to, it means like good air, right? Good, good air or like fair winds. Fair winds, exactly. And it's also the city itself is located uh, on the southeast side of Argentina. It also happens to be the biggest and the capital uh, city of Argentina and it has 13.5 million people. That's why it looks so big. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of people. <laughs> Alright, so now if you're wondering why we have changed our clothes three times, well there's a good reason for that. This is the third day and I believe, I think anyway, this is the first time we filmed one video over the course of three days? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but it's just such a big city. It, it is. It made the most cover. sense to do it this way. Uh, anyway, right now we're actually in an area called La Boca. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, quite a touristy area, but I think it's also like a very much a working class neighborhood, so maybe not the best place to be at night, but there's loads of people here mm -hmm. during the day and it's super colorful. seems like a lot of fun as I already said it's super colorful you're gonna find lots of artists here like right behind me you can find artwork and there's a whole street of it plus there's a street of vendors as well a lot like what we saw the other day but this one may be a little bit more touristy let's uh, go take a look at the uh, artwork I just love that they're playing up to the tango all these pieces here are of the tango. So this street is kind of the main street of La Boca, the most popular area. It's called Camanito. It actually is the work of an artist named Benito Quinquilo Martin. Sorry for the mispronunciations. 
So in 1960, I think there wasn't much around here, it was just a lot of abandoned buildings, and he decided to paint them all in like bright colors. He put up stages for performances, and then it became like this artist haven, basically. So it's a pretty cool street and it's filled with like restaurants and things like that but be prepared if you're coming here everyone is going to try to get you to go in and eat even the souvenir people are trying out to trying to get you to just like come in the shop uh, so just be prepared for that it's something to know so pretty cool that you can come like eat your lunch and watch tango at the same time although from what we just saw a second ago it's not nearly as impressive as what we saw the other day in San Telmo So as Anna already said, um, this is known as a working class neighborhood. And back in the day, of course, there were a lot of immigrants that arrived to Buenos Aires. And in this neighborhood, there were a lot of Italians. Now, just walking around here, we haven't really seen a huge Italian presence. So we're curious about that. You guys might be curious about what's behind me. Look at this big river. Now, this is the first time so far we've been around water in Buenos Aires. And you wouldn't think that if you look on a map. Uh, La Boca, the neighborhood, translates to the mouth. And we are standing at the mouth of the river. That does it for Buenos Aires and Argentina, for that matter. Our time is coming to an end, but what an amazing time we had. And uh, specifically in this city, it's just so big and so much fun. We did cover a lot of ground, though, between last week's video, yeah, we where tried. we were in uh, Recoleta and Palermo. And Palermo yes. Uh, if you haven't watched that, you should definitely go back and check it out. And then this week, you know, we cover also, we're on like the other side of the city. Mm -hmm. It's on San Telmo, the main square, and then we were over here in La Boca today. So yeah, yeah. we covered a, a lot of ground. Uh, it takes a long time to get from one place to another, just be warned. So yes. like plan accordingly if you're here. Yeah, and we heard a lot about the city coming in. Like, you know, we knew it was going to be beautiful. And it absolutely is in so many different ways. It looks like Paris a lot. I think, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's kind of known to be Paris uh, of South America. Um, so yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful to walk around. As far as um, negatives go, you can't really say too much. I mean, it takes a long time to get around when you got 13 million people, that's Unlike for sure. Unlike any big city, any city of the size, we be the same way. It's a, yeah, it's no different. Um, traffic, yeah, just keep in mind, if you haven't been here before, they don't really stop for you at crosswalks. Again, it's not just the city, but it's something to keep in mind. The other thing is we have noticed there's quite a bit of like, dog crap on the sidewalks. Yes, more than I've seen anywhere. 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 <laughs> so yeah. just, just you gotta keep a lookout when you're walking around. Uh, it's not a big deal, you get used to it pretty quick, but you really gotta watch out for it. Yeah, it's hard to walk around and look at the pretty buildings and look out for dog poo at the same time. It's a challenge. <laughs> exactly. And guys, now if you're new around here, I'm Trevor, that's Anna, we're the Delightful Travelers. If you got this far in the video, it probably means you like it. If you like it, you should click that thumbs up button because it really helps us out. While you're at it, subscribe, hit the bell, maybe leave us a comment so we know uh, who's watching on the other side. So we're not quite sure sometimes. <laughs> yeah, so I already said what we were doing last week, which was uh, seeing different neighborhoods in Buenos Aires. But next week, Ooh. we are going to be heading to Brazil. New country. Yeah, How excited so are we? So excited. <laughs> yes, we got our visas. We're ready to go. Ready to go. All right, guys, that's it. From Buenos Aires, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.